Well, I thought our guys played really, really well, really hard. Um, you know, coming into this game, uh, they were ninth in the country in pace. They were second in the country in rebounds and fourth in offensive rebounds. And they were sixth in the country in steals. And so out of their first three games, they've been very aggressive. And really the identity of their program is physicality and rebounding. Uh, I think they had 20, I think maybe 22 offensive rebounds against Xavier. And that's something we really tried to hone in and lock in on in practice. And I thought our guys did a heck of a job to start the game with our defense and with our rebounding, um, which led to us being able to get out in transition and being able to attack their defense. Um, I thought we played with great spirit, great togetherness. I thought we showed a toughness. And it was as complete of a performance as we've had so far this year. So that's encouraging. It's something to build on. Um, Again, we're excited about it. We're we're, we're proud of it. Uh, But we're excited to move on to the next one. And got a double double. What was it like for you today? Uh, I had no idea I was gonna get a double double, and then the ball kind of got in my hands, and I was like, "Wait, oh yeah, I got I got double double." And then the guys were excited for me, so it just it's really nice, you know. What worked so well? Uh, I don't know. I feel like the whole team worked so well that we all got great looks, and I don't know. I think it was like a, t- a team team thing. I think like we everyone looked super good today. scouting report that you guys had on defense? Uh, it was a great scout. Um, they gave us a great look at what they were trying to do, and I think we defended it very well. Uh, I think starting the game, I don't remember the exact score, but they had two points for a long time, and that's just a testament to how hard we were playing and the look that the scout gave us. So they did a great job, the scout. Ish, you guys had 24 points, or 24 assists on 33 made baskets. From your point of view out on the court, was this the best ball movement you guys have had all year? For sure. Uh, I think we were moving the ball very well. Uh, the ball definitely had energy and was finding the right person. So uh, we all trust each other, st- trust each other's uh, shot making abilities and judgment. So it showed tonight. Zach hasn't been scoring a whole lot, but it seems like he's still making an impact in a lot of ways. Can you speak a little bit to what he's brought the, so far this season? Yeah, when he's not scoring, he affects the game in many ways that sometimes don't show up on the stat sheet and sometimes it, they do. But uh, he's just a, he's a ball player. If he's not on uh, on, on offense, he's definitely going to be on on defense and vice versa. So he's a, a great threat that we have, and and the shots are going to fall for him. He's he's a lab rat, so I'm not worried about that at all. I mean, for both of you guys, I'm, I'm sure you're you know focused on what's you know happening out there, but obviously next week it's Brooklyn, it's a big game, it's against Florida. I mean, how excited are you? You know, get on the big stage and play a team like that. I'm super excited. Uh, treat it like we treat any other game, same approach. And if we if we do what we need to do, then we'll take care of business. Same, like super excited. Uh, first uh, championship when I play, so I feel like the, all all the guys are super excited to travel and to spend a, a good thing together. Yeah, it seemed like they, the Jacksonville was getting physical with you guys. How have you felt your games develop as far as the physical component in dealing with a play like that? We knew they, they were going to come for us, you know, after Florida. So it was just like a uh, get tough thing. And don't get pushed. You push, and I feel like we did a really good job preparing for the game, and it showed. It showed up. Your coach talked about how good of a rebounding team this was heading into here. How do you think you guys were able to dominate the rebounding margin like you did? If you see, like we all rebound together. Like it's not only on us to get the rebounds. It's like a gang rebound. Everyone's going to the glass. Everyone's hitting someone. So at the end, if you have five five pit men down there going for the rebound, we're gonna get it all the time. Your position, what is it like having a guard like Ish who had nine rebounds tonight that rebounds the ball so well from this position? That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, we all rebound together, so it's not only on us to get the rebounds. We got help from them. So now us, we got to hit the big men so they can get the, the rebound and we can we can go and run. Ish, kind of that same question for you about his passing. I mean, what's it like having a big guy that can, you, you know, can cut off of and he can find you? But, you know, it's kind of unique for a seven-footer. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a great th- threat that we have. They see the floor, they see everything, and they make the right play all the time. So I'm just grateful to have them with me on the team. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I mean, 
mean, those guys put in a lot of work this summer. Um, you can see it in their bodies. You can see it in their games. <clears throat> Excuse me, how they were able to play through physicality last year against this team. They probably would have both gotten pushed around. Uh, but this year they were able to push back a little bit, hold their ground, finish through some things. Um, you know, I think, you know, they're continuing to develop and continuing to get better and better. Came into this one with a little bit of extra motivation after kind of struggling a little bit. Like I think that. all of our guys did. You know, we, we we didn't feel like, especially the post guys, that they played up to their capabilities. And um, you know, we we really had a couple of good practices, really good practices leading up to this. It was a point of emphasis because we knew after watching that tape that they were going to throw the ball inside. We knew that's what they do anyway. And I thought our guys defended before their guy got the ball. I thought we played with the level of physicality that we needed to, that's required uh, as you move up in levels. And um, I thought we did a really, really good job in our preparation would led to us playing well. You were assessed a technical foul in the second half there. Are you able to explain what happened? Yeah, I shouldn't have run out on the court. I was frustrated. Um, our guy was down, and I ran out there. I, 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 I can't do that. Jeff, is this the deepest bench you think you've had since you've, you've been here? Yeah, I think so. Because I think we have 10 guys that can play. You know, Marlon's redshirt and Papa's hurt, but the other 10 guys are all really, I think they're good players and they fit. What did you like from, I guess, Bob tonight? Because they were, they threw a lot of double teams. They kind of took away drives, but it didn't seem like he was forcing it then. Yeah, no, he, he has the ability to dissect the game in real time and to figure out what they're doing. That's something that's really rare for a player, period, but especially an 18-year-old. Um, and he saw early they were being very physical. They were putting two on the basketball, um, and he did a good job of getting off of it. Um, and then he's able to pick his spots. You know, he's been so far, you know, a really efficient offensive player. Um, and as we continue to, you know, move up in competition, hopefully that's something he continues to do. Now that you're, you're 4-0 and and you got some of your games behind you, can you start thinking about it? playing tougher competition. Yeah, we're excited. You know, we're, we we feel like every game we've played, the level has gone up so far. Um, you know, from the first one, from North Carolina A&T to Binghamton, Florida Gulf Coast, this game, certainly we understand that next week will be very different. Uh, you know, Florida's a different level. It's a power five. We're playing in New York. It's a tournament. There's an opportunity to win a championship. So all of those things, the field is great with Baylor and Oregon State. And so we're really, really excited to go up there and see where we are against that type of competition. Jeff, I know you're in the middle of a, a new season, but are you able to appreciate everything that's changed in your program since the last time you guys were in Brooklyn? Was that when y'all asked me the questions after the game? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was two times ago. Yeah, you know what? It's interesting because I actually thought after the VCU game, that was the turning point of our season. I thought that game was what was what reinforced to me what I thought before the season that we were pretty good even though we got blown out and you know lost a close one um I felt good leaving there about who we were and what we could become um I'm anxious to get up there this time and see if we can you know maybe be a little bit better if you're obviously further along after four games than you were after four games last year why do you think that is well, I think we have a good core group of guys back um, that understand what we're trying to do. And so because of that, they are able to help the young guys and the new guys along. Um, Zach and Ish both have a lot of game experience. And so uh, they've been able to pick things up as far as what we want to do pretty quickly. I think our freshmen – uh, mentally are a little bit more advanced than maybe certainly maybe than I was as a freshman or your normal freshman just because of their backgrounds. It certainly helped being together this summer going to Spain. So you had 10 practices there. We played two games against really good competition over there. Um, and just the organic camaraderie that these guys have been able to develop since they've been here. It's been really cool to watch of every game you played so far. How do you measure mental toughness, though, in, in the practices, to the games, to the moments, to, to see where that is before you start playing other teams? Well, you know, I look at it every day. I mean, how do you show up every day? And that was the thing that I was not pleased with 
after Florida Gulf Coast. They tested us. It was, a, I think, a four-point game, five-point game with about three and a half, a little bit under four minutes left. <clears throat> There's a level of toughness with what we did to end that game. Um, but then how we came back, you know, after that, we were off Tuesday, and I thought we had a really good practice on Wednesday. That's toughness, you know, to be able to come back after an off day and to show up ready to work, ready to get better, ready to learn, to take criticism, constructive criticism, to not take it personally, and to use it as a challenge and motivation. And you saw that tonight. You know, we maybe didn't play as well in the post against Florida Gulf Coast. Um, I thought our post guys dominated the game today. Um, you know, with, with, with defense, with rebounding, obviously G was able to score. You know, Fetty puts a different type of pressure with rim running, dunker spot, lobs, you know, and things like that. Uh, but just how you show up every day. You know, if you can show up at a really high level every day, that's a level of toughness, man, that you can't teach. And our guys are learning how to do that. You guys had um, 15 threes tonight, and you had a few games like that last year. I mean, do you <clears> think this team can kind of have games like that consistently? Yeah, yeah. I do. I do. I think we can shoot the basketball. I feel confident if we're generating shots, we, we miss some that we normally make, some wide open ones today. Um, but I want them shooting those shots.